We got our review of Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and some new video game announcements coming up on the Weekly Loot. Oh yeah. You can't tell but we're all made good. Alright guys, welcome back to the Weekly Loot Podcast. Uh, the one and only stop for your, all your geek news and entertainment. Mm-hmm. As always, I'm Matt. And I'm Groot. I mean Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Uh, we got some interesting stuff to cover tonight, guys. First off, Gardens of the Galaxy finally released. Oh yeah. Uh, we just watched it, and we're excited getting into this. Mm, I'm killing stuff, apparently. What well, was a mosquito? I didn't want to catch the West <laughs> So, anyways... Anthony, I'm going to turn this over to you. What do you think about Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Is it as good as the first one? Oh. This is what people will know. They will know. Is it as good as the first one? Okay. And is there any connection to the other movies? Uh, yes and no. Mm. Not really. Um, you sure about that? Well, somewhat. Are you positive? If you watch the after credits, there is one scene. I don't know if we want to do spoilers yet or not, but it does start mm. tying in. Oh, yeah. If they don't know, we, we spoil the crap out of stuff. They don't okay. know that by now. <laughs> they listen to their own podcast. Okay, well... It, it, Spoiler alert! Uh, oh, here we go. Adam Warlock is in one of the credit scenes. Well, he's not like in it. He's just more mentioned. Oh yeah, he's well. He's pretty much going to be in something. Oh, so they had to they had to get Adam Warlock in there at some point. Oh yeah, because there is going to be like an actual Adam Warlock movie, isn't there? I don't know, but he's I mean, I he's know. a big part of all the. He's a pretty oh, yeah. high being in the Marvel universe, so they'll have to put him in there eventually. Yeah, but I guess he's going to be made by an Infinity Stone. That's what I'm guessing out of it. Looks like it. Didn't really clarify anything really bad. I don't, I don't know that much about it. Like, I know I've read the Infinity Wars with him in it, and it's just kind of... Mm. That's about as far as I go in it. More like, yeah, I he's, one of those, he's, he's one of those weird characters where it's like, he's like necessary to certain storylines, but nope. at the same time, like he's not like as well known as, say, like Spider-Man or something. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we don't care about him. It's not like, like you're going to see... Him like walk across the screen, you go instantly go no Adam, Adam Warlock, Warlock. Yeah. as you would like Captain America. Like you see Captain America, you know that's Captain oh, America. Yeah. I wonder how many people in the theater was just like Adam. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of them just kind of like, hmm, who do that guy is? <laughs> I mean, I, like I said, well, we don't really know. I mean, we read we read comics all our life, and I mean, I know about I never him. Came I, don't, I mean, I can't sit here and tell you his whole oh, yeah. origin story or nothing like that. I, mean, I can tell you some of the stuff he's done. Well, like that's about it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I can tell you about the Infinity Wars, and <laughs> he's popped up in a couple other things. The first time I was ever introduced to Adam Warlock was Heroclix. Mm. I was like, oh, I got Adam Warlock. <laughs> yeah, there's three Heroclix back in the was good for that, man. They were good to kind of like throw you in some. Oh, yeah, that they were just some random people. You're like, what is this? And then you had to look it up and try to find it out. Squirrel Girl. What are you going to do with her? Oh, um, that's funny. But what'd you think about the movie, man? Tell me about it. I thought it was amazing. Um, the vi- uh, the visuals was just like it's been so long since you reviewed a movie. You don't I know. know what like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Know where to start. It was like it was one of the most uh, good looking. I guess is oh, the yeah, layman awesome. way of saying it. Looked awesome. It, it just looked great. Um, it was funny. It was definitely funny. It had some great oh, yeah. music in it. Of course, definitely one of the more comic. Oh yeah, comedic. I guess is the word you're looking for. I, I feel like they were kind of steering more toward comedy after Deadpool. Maybe. Like, did it feel like they were using more Which the first Guardians of the Galaxy was pretty stuff. funny as well. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't think it was as funny as this one, though. But I feel like Deadpool kind of knocked the wall over a little bit and let them use a little more profanity in some senses. Because I don't think the, the first one used as much. I mean, for Disney to be a part of it, yeah. I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they did kind of hint around that Groot was using that word. <laughs> <laughs> Groot, speaking of Groot, maybe Groot is probably like the most mm. biggest thing in that movie. That made the movie for me. Like, he was just... Every scene he's in, he just made you laugh. Made you go, oh, yeah. Aww. Yeah. He's the best part of the movie. Like a little baby running around. <laughs> and stuff. I mean, I was real sad at the credits when he was teenager group. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah they should have kept Baby Groot around for a little bit longer. <laughs> Nobody wants a teenager around. Yeah. Maybe they'll make a bunch of money and they'll keep him Baby Groot. I don't know how they're going to do it now. They've already showed him as a teenager. Yeah, they can just have those future thing. <laughs> they could, I guess. Sure, they don't grow back fast. Um... Batista was really good as Drax again. Yeah, they made they made that character very very comic relief. Mm-hmm. The like, whole entire much so. except for like one little yeah, almost every line he has is just it's just hilarious. <laughs> it really is. Right now is the time for him to go to WWE. Yeah, because everybody was, would like uh, him now. It was a lot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he'd be a lot cooler now. Yeah, <laughs> he looks a little bit like chubbier than he did when he's in the WWE. 
He does, doesn't he? Doesn't he, he? like he likes to he get still looks buff, but he just can't got that belly going on now. <laughs>